hello, hello. Don't know why I say hello twice, but hello. It's time for more Minecraft. Give me all that EMC. What is this? Crystal Teen? Oh yeah, I forgot. That was for automation interface. I don't really feel like I need it, but it's it's an achievement, so I should probably get it. Ultimate materials. One crystal teen, automation interface. And that leads to automating the tables with AE. That's cool. Rock grinder. Oh, I have almost all these all these done. Unless more of them unlock. Requires energy condenser mark two. It's faster and has a much bigger in inventory split into an input and output side. Mark one antimatter relay. Infinite water and lava. Let's let's see about this energy condenser mark two. It's probably insane. Um, dark matter, red matter. Thomium's not a big deal compared to all this other stuff. Powered void crystal. Yeah, this is this is very expensive. 466,000 times 4 times 4, right? 7.5 million. Just on that by itself, and Dark Matter's, you know, another quarter of that, so it's like 9 million just for the Dark Matter and Red Matter blocks. Uh, I don't have that. So I'll have to build up my EMC. Hmm. Powered Void Crystal is not super expensive. I think in the meantime, I should build these out more. No harm in, in doing that. This is 12 setups times six is 72. So we need 72 energy collectors, I think. What I really should do is just let the server run <laughs> so I can uh, AFK. Get a ton of diamonds. Maybe I'll do that tonight. So I have more for tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's flux. All right, not doing any thongcraft. I do need some thomium plates though, so let me make some. 
potatoes. How do you make thong yum? Where's my book? Thong yum is Precutatio and Terra. Precutatio and Terra. Have a little Terra. There's some Terra. some iron. I'll just look it up. If Chrome wants to open, there we go. Precontatio is Salus Mundus. And I have some, okay. Actually, don't need to do that. Cool, got my Thaumium. And I can go make plates out of it. Let me make sure I have the right setting here. That looks like a plate to me. Yes. Make those plates. Iron plates? What are those in there for? I will store these. I guess I probably could. Take out all the wood and all the apples. And just kind of see how much I can make out of it. I don't think I'm going to get to 7 million with all this stuff though. is not a ton of stuff. Hmm. I think it's okay. You know, put some stuff away. We're going to be here for a while. That's faster. Come on. 
on. Thank you. At least the apples are worth more. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere close to 9 million. So that's all empty. Let's see. They certainly make this hard to hard to get. I guess that's the point, isn't it? Which one was it? Nothing in here. All right, so that's all. Oh, there's wood. Good thing is you you can always convert this stuff back. Not not that you would convert it back to wood or anything, but it's all possible. That's empty. Come on. Come on, let's go. Why is that so difficult? Oops, not that. I'm getting to about halfway to where I need to be.
All right, that's everything down here. I also can, well, would, it would make sense to uh, hook, hook all these back up. So I'll do that. It's a painstaking process. Spun around here. Hey, extra, how's it going? Just playing a little Minecraft. Working on my sorting system uh, for this setup. So I'm going to remove all this and blacklist it so it takes everything. Oops. Take all the stuff. Okay, that should be everything. Now I can empty these ones out. Cool that they're just filling right back up. Maybe I will get to 9 million. That'd be pretty sweet. Come on. Everyone else on the server has a ton of EMC, and I'm the only one who goes through a lot of it. Hi, Amy. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of wood. I'm just getting more and more. Uh, we have these uh, tree farms here, these bonsais, and they're continually producing uh, leaves, sticks, apples, logs, and saplings. Yep. Yeah, I have uh, 32 double chests, so that's uh, 64 bonsais, hopping bonsais. 
How's it going tonight? Come on. That double click is really not working very well. Work was chaos. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing well. I had, uh, you know, an okay day at work. Not, nothing too crazy and got stuck on the problem uh, writing software, but um, hopefully I'll get it fixed on Monday. But it's the weekend. Are you off on the weekend? I'm very lucky to have a consistent weekend. Sundays, okay. Well, that's coming up. Something to look forward to. Come on. Let's go. Everyone in. I have to like quadruple click to, to a, do a double click. It's crazy. Oh, I'm approaching 9 million. And I think some of the chests downstairs filled up too. Uh, this actually might be possible today. I'm trying to get the um, energy, energy Collector Mark II, and it requires at least, I think it's at least 9 million EMC. All right, there's a little bit of stuff up there. That was the rest of the pages, right? Yeah. And what's down here? There's some apples. Lots of wood. Wood, wood. Okay. Let's get these going again. I know this is not fun to watch, but um, it's, it's a goal I'm working towards. And I have all this EMC sitting here doing nothing, so I might as well put it to use. All right, that might be enough. I need dark matter. I need 16. And red matter, I need 16. Oh, I'm so close. Another eight hundred thousand. Even better matter, yeah. You ordered some pizza, nice. I haven't had pizza recently. I actually did last week, I think. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, these these are um, large storage crates, and they have three pages each. And then, you know, if that's all filled with wood, that's an insane amount. But wood is not anything special in this game, in, in uh, this pack anyway, because it's low value. Are you disagree? <laughs> wood is worth 32 emc each each log and i'm trying to get you know expensive stuff yeah so this this system is called emc it's um project e is the project e you see um it's a remake of a project called equivalent exchange which was I, I played around with it in Tekkit, and Tekkit was a 1.2.5 mod pack, which is really old. 
that was like 2012, 2013, when that was popular. And Project E remade Equivalent Exchange, and it's basically transmutation, and EMC is like energy matter constant, so the, these red matters are worth 466,000, and um, a log is 32. So for instance, if you had 8,192 dirt, they're worth one each. You can transmute that into one diamond, which is worth 8,192. So it's uh, basically alchemy. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I should have enough now to get my other two dark matter, but I'm gonna keep going because I'm gonna need some more EMC for playing around with. I've been doing this for like 15 minutes, I, I think. And then I've got even more advanced farms. Well, one more advanced farm, really. Um, that's producing diamonds um, at a kind of kind of fast rate. I'll show you when we go upstairs. All right, almost done with this. I can get my dark matter now. There we go. That's, that's the hard part done. Is just having the EMC to begin with. Cool. Now let me uh, fall off the edge and lose it. Just kidding. Uh, so these are the diamond farms here. You can you can target whatever you want. In oh, I don't have my pickaxe, so I can't. Uh, let me get my stuff. It's in here. I mean, I, I could have broken these with my hand, but anyway, these are energy collectors, these ones, and you surround um, energy condensers with them. And what these collectors do is create EMC from thin air, uh, basically from sunlight. And these are upgraded ones. These are the base ones, right? So you connect them to the condensers and they continually produce whatever target you set in here. So this is making diamonds. This, this is worth uh, 106,000. EMC that's just sitting here and is ready to be taken. Uh, so the point is to get really overpowered and have lots of passive EMC generation. Yeah, it's it's like a magic factory basically. That's a good way to put it. Um, so now with this stuff, uh, my goal is to make this in the yellow crafting table. So I got I got the stuff for these blocks here. Um, the hop graphite is kind of a little bit difficult, and it's just a machine process. And then the empowered void crystals are going to take a little bit of work. But what I'm going to do now is take out this collector here. And I'm going to put it in the yellow table here. I'm going to make these into blocks. And place them. I don't know if that's the right orientation, but I think it is. Nope. And then I need to fill in the other stuff. So the hop graphite, the thomium. I have the thomium over here. Thomium. Plates. Let's see about this hop, hop graphite. Coke dust. I need eight coke dust times. F okay, so that's 32. Do I have any coke stuff in here? Coke dust. Hmm. 
That's coal coke, right? Coke dust is coal coke. I thought I had coal, coal coke somewhere. Pulverized coal. I'll just make some more. Coke dust, it's the name. Make coal. And then you just go put it in one of these. And it'll start producing coke dust. Let's actually split that up because I'm impatient. Okay, so we just need 32 of those. Oh, it's quite the name, yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with cocaine. I could be wrong. It's not the right color though. Should put this one back. Um, and then I need the empowered void crystals. So not that. These ones, I need eight of those. So that's charcoal, flint, stone, and ink sack around void crystal. They don't have pepperoni, what? What pizza place does not have pepperoni? They're failing at their job. Charcoal, charcoal and flint. Is there flint anywhere around here? On a Friday. Well, that's that's probably why they don't have it actually, because they're busy. What's the last thing I need? Charcoal. I have tons of charcoal. And then I need actual coal. This process takes a little bit of time as well, so I should get this started. What are you gonna do instead of pizza then? Hmm, I need to divide this up even more. how long these uh, processes take. Tiny, tiny pepperonis. Yeah, I, li I like Domino's, honestly, like if I don't care about the quality of the pizza because it's just good garbage pizza, but it's still, it's still good to eat, you know? It reminds me of, um, like the pan pizzas remind me of elementary school, I guess. I don't know if we got it in high school, but elementary school we used to get pizza on Fridays. All right, hot graphite dust. I think these are all done. 
Chicken Alfredo pasta. It's clearly microwaved. <laughs> Yeah, just, no, f fuck Papa John's. Nobody likes them. We don't want that racist pizza. We get more coal. I, the, the unfortunate thing for me is I actually like Papa John's Pizza, but I, I won't buy from him. I know he's not the CEO anymore, but fuck that guy. He doesn't deserve my money. Faster, go faster. Time for the crusher. Yeah, Blizzard has a, a nice big scandal of their own. I would say I would uninstall their games, but I don't I don't think I have any of their games, aside from Overwatch, but Overwatch is dead anyway. You're gonna develop your own video games? Nice. I've gotten into video game development a little bit. It's uh it's different from what I do, because I, I, I'm a web developer, or a full-stack developer. So, totally different idea. But it's pretty cool what you can make, you know? Alright, there we go. Let's make this. Two hop graphite dust. Cool. So this this project is almost done. I, I don't think... Well, development has a little bit of math. And certainly, depending on what you do, I think... Um, machine learning developers do a lot of, like... Um, I guess, algebra? So it's not, not anything too crazy, but... Certainly some people do calculus, but that's more like mechanical engineers and stuff. I don't know. Not quite sure. Uh, I don't do a lot of math for my job. But that certainly scares a lot of people away who would otherwise get into development. All right, I just need one more. Come on. Thank you. And then, well, I guess when you're talking about um, like 3D game development, there's definitely some position calculations and momentum and stuff, but that's not that's not like overly complex math. It's just a lot of knowing what's going on and stuff. Do you like the boxes I got going on back here? I'm moving next month, so. Can't wait, I can't wait to move, woohoo. Hate moving. Like any other normal person, I hate moving. To Pennsylvania, yep, that's right. Back to where I came from, because I, I don't need to be down here anymore. I'm in Maryland. Yes. Mark two. Need a diamond. I did it. We did it, chat. So that, that goes even faster, which is nice. It's very expensive though.
I actually want to see how fast that is. Okay, so it's got a whole input thing over here. It's got an output. That's cool. So this is the fastest setup here because it's this is the Mark II and then it's got two Mark II collectors on it. Will be overpowered in no time. And in the meantime, I can collect all these. So diamonds. And then you gotta make sure you put the setup back. Oh, this one's not even producing. What? What's going on with this? Um, hello? It's broken. I'll have to come back and troubleshoot that. I could just make a new condenser. I don't know why it wouldn't be working though. You have a free pizza coupon for who? Some local place? Or Domino's? It's weird. Everything else works. My, my big plan is to Oh, for Domino's, nice. My big plan is to just uh, let the server run overnight and stay logged in and AFK while I sleep. So I have tons of diamonds in the morning. So when I play tomorrow, I'll be rich. It's not even like a crazy plan or anything. It's just uh, makes it more interesting. I wish... Yeah, I wish it was easy, as easy in real life to, to get rich as it is in Minecraft, especially like Skyblocks. Because like, damn, I go crazy on Skyblocks. Like Sky Factory, Sky Factory 3 especially, I, I kill it at that game. And then I look at my bank account and I'm like, oh, not quite. Yeah, I don't know why this one's not working. Maybe it's the collectors. Let me replace everything. No, there's something wrong with this. Hmm, troubling. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this. I don't have a trash can or anything. I'm just gonna throw this off the edge, I guess. See ya. <laughs> it's not hard to make a new, new condenser. Just make one of these chests. I know. Chest. A gold and diamonds. I have diamonds. <laughs> Don't need to go far for that. What am I missing? One coal. So this, the, in this table, you can order anything that you have enough value for and that also has an EMC value, right? So I, I can't order charcoal. I have to make charcoal in these 
Coke ovens, um, just as an example. So, chest, let's craft one of these. And I need a diamond again. We should do something different like emeralds. That'd be cool. So, and fly. Oops, I wanted to set the target in here. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? That's not even a condenser, that's just a chest. I forgot to convert it. This is the basic crafting. Let's see. Okay, let's try again. And it works. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why that other chest wasn't working, the other alchemical or the condenser. So I think it would be a good idea to make another one of these setups. It's 72, 72 collectors. I think it's 13 blocks of glowstone. So 72 times 4 times 13. 3744. Oops. 3744 divided by 64 is 58 stacks of glowstone. How much is that? Speaking of pizza, they left two pizzas on your doorstep. <laughs> oh, that was nice of you. You certainly didn't have to do that. Very good. Good job. Hawaiian? Oh, I, I mean, if I ate meat, I wouldn't eat Hawaiian, but that's just me. You would have eaten both. <laughs> well, still, very, very kind of you. You did the right thing. All right, so this is the five by five, I think. Wait, I need, no, I need a lot of these, right? I need 72. Let me make sure I do the math on that right. So there are 12 setups and there's six times each. 12 times six is indeed 72. Yeah, they would have come back to find you. And then you would have had to pay for pizza that you didn't order.
right, that, that was 60 stacks total. Hi, kitty kitty. I hear her walking down the hallway. She's gonna be, be the first emote I get when I get emotes. Picture of her face. Immortalized on the internet. You couldn't do it, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Certain people like you and I have shame, and a lot of people don't, and <laughs> you know? How far am I f away from affiliate? Um, far enough. I have, I've had the right amount of followers for years, and <clears throat> haven't strained consistently in a long time, so I don't have, you know, the consistent, oh, I've streamed this many days, and I've, you know, I have this many viewers per stream and stuff. So the you know the the hardest part for me is actually the the viewers per stream. I don't I don't have a lot of people all at once, so it's gonna take me I don't know, a couple a couple more weeks or months to to start getting there. Of consistent streams every weekend, so I'm working on it. And I the thing is I have to just not give up right because half the battle is being consistent about it. So you you actually get the people who repeatedly come in and watch your stream. Yep, I definitely do a little bit of networking here and there. Um, actually, some of my my initial group of followers were from uh, a friend I made who he also took a long break from streaming. But um, we, we kind of shared followers for a while. Oh, you're an affiliate? I didn't know that. That's awesome. Oh wait, no, I've, I've seen your emotes in Brayden's chat. Let's see. No, oh, those aren't yours, are they? No, those ones aren't yours. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. I got you. So I need crystallized chunks. And then I need another bit here. So these go in a circle. The most circular thing in Minecraft anyway. And then I need furnaces. I'm gonna have to cook up a lot of furnaces. Oh, you don't stream. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, streaming's fun. Um, it's certainly not for everybody. Um, I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not trying to get rich off of it, but um, I do want to build a community. So um, I've kind of come to that realization more recently because at one point I was, I didn't have a job and I was considering doing it specifically as a job and it's really hard to start making money and making a living when you don't have any momentum. So I, you know, I have a full-time job and I, that's my income and I can do this on the weekends and slowly build up. So I think that's probably the better approach. And you know, when you do creative stuff for money anyway, it's not, not really the best approach. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And you can play with your viewers and stuff too, so that's cool. Um, what are they doing? Furnaces. So I want to make 72 of these. Do I have enough stuff? I do. Alright, well that's going. I need... Quartz. So I gotta craft these and convert them. It's 
Streaming remi reminds me a lot of playing video games with my brothers growing up. Um, you know, you would have two people playing and then, you know, your other brothers were, would watch. So it's kind of really reminiscent of that, which is cool. The internet's changed so many things. And, you know, not everything for the better, but I think a lot of things for the better. Do we have enough furnaces? Yes. Cool. So this is ready to go. Furnaces, there we go. Eight, eight, and eight. Cool. Sixty four and eight. That's what we need. Now, for the next part is the collector. So, I need those chests. I need twelve of those. I need gold, copper, obsidian, silver, diamonds. I don't think I have enough stuff for this. I think the diamonds alone are going to put me under. Let's see. I didn't do the right number. I want 12 of them. I need 101 diamonds, so that's 800,000. I certainly don't have that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this. But these will stay stored away. Would remind you of having your three best friends from high school. Aw. See, that's a nice memory that you can think back to. Who would have thought, you know? Well, originally Nintendo wasn't even a video game company. They were a trading card company in the 1800s. So that's how they started. But like to think how far video games have come is just insane. And you know how much farther it'll continue in the future. Like we can't even imagine what things are gonna be like in the future. In the next 10, 20 years, it'll be insane. I think probably things like VR are gonna be the norm or or more immersive experiences not not the 18th century the 1800s so the 19th century yeah they started as a trading card game in the late 1800s and i don't know when they started developing video games i mean the original N nintendo entertainment system was the 80s 1980s so they were they were probably working on computer systems, late 70s, um, at, probably at the earliest. That's that's my guess. I don't know their history very well. What am I doing? I need diamonds. Let's see what we have over here in the store. Hmm. I'll show you something funny, actually. So I, ha I have these uh, outlets. I, I probably showed you this, Amy, but I think it's funny. Um, for the stuff that I don't want, like the sticks and the saplings and the leaves, I just throw them out into the world, out into the void and where they get deleted. Because there's, there's no trash cans in this, which is how you typically throw things out in modded. So there, there they go. Do I have anything in here? Not a whole lot. Oh, there's wood. Through the tubes? Yeah, these are pipes. 
so I set up a sorting system uh, with the pipes. And these, these are open crates, which basically just, whatever you put into them, it drops directly in the center of this block. So um, it inserts it into the open crate and just <laughs> the open crate just drops it. Pay me in diamonds. Pay me in equity. Probably enough for the diamonds. So I need sixty four and thirty six. There's a hundred and one actually, so I'll just take all of these. And they're going right in the computer. I guess I could collect these again. It's free money, right? The nice thing about this, I know this is going to be a weird thing to say, um, this mod pack, you, you still have to do some things manually. I guess maybe we're not as end game as I would hope and not everything's automated yet. So a lot of the processes are still you have to go do it by hand. And that's that's actually a good thing because when I play Sky Factory 3 and I'm, you know, overpowered, I, I walk around or fly around and do nothing because I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I, I, I think it I think that's exactly what makes it still fun. It's not grindy, it's um you know, it's partially manual and that gives you something to focus on and do during a session. So that's, that's a positive. You shouldn't automate away everything, you know? Maybe that's a good lesson for me because I love to automate things. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Come say hi. <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're caught. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Relax. Hey. Oh my gosh, don't bite me. Come say hi to the chat. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Say hi to Amy and Dennis. Go ahead. Hey. I'm going to get your face on Twitch. I'm going to do it. Okay, all right. You made your point. One more biting. Oops. Threw some diamonds off the edge. Okay, ouch, kitty. Yeah, she's my fluffy baby. She's my daughter. I don't have human children, but she's the closest thing I'll ever have, probably. And I'm fine with that. Hey.
That's one of her rare appearances on stream. She doesn't she doesn't like to be picked up in in general. Yeah, she's a little mean. <laughs> Not usually to me, but if I pick her up and hold her for a little bit, yeah, she'll bite me. Or if I like bother her, she'll hiss at me. That's like if I continually bother her for like a minute or two, then she'll she'll hiss at me, but um in general, she only hisses at other people. She doesn't like other people very much. so I have her all to myself. Um, okay, I need silver. Copper. Uh, what else did I need? Oh, I need I need more than a stack of those. So let's do a stack and a half. I can spell, geez. Yeah, she has to Dennis a lot. When he lived here. I need gold, I need seared stone, I need nine of those, and 96 obsidian. And I need more cobblestone for seared stone. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm not signing off yet, but it's nice to have someone to talk to. That's one of the biggest problems I have with uh, being an early, early stage streamer is uh, when no one comes <laughs> and you're just sitting here talking to your screen. Oh, thanks guys. Okay, that's nine blocks. Yeah, I was playing um, uh, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past earlier. It's one of my favorite Zelda games, or probably my favorite Zelda game. I like Breath of the Wild too, but I'm not very good at it. And uh, I used to play A Link to the Past growing up, so that's definitely sentimental for, for me. But um, I beat the... I beat the palace and then I called it quits because <laughs> it's, it's frustrating sometimes. So I'll play that again next Friday. All right, now I can make these chests. I think, I think I have everything, yay. So this is the auto crafting system here, right? Uh, this is the, it's a bunch of different units and it is is how you auto craft. And then I have these um, single crafters that make different pieces. I don't see anything in any of them right now. The, the ones up top will have pat, uh, things that it's making. And there we go. There's the chests. So it's, it's kind of cool to watch. Yeah, I decided I'm, I'm doing Zelda on Fridays, at least for the beginning, the beginning of the stream. Um, so I will start playing Breath of the Wild at some point. Um, I, I might start over even uh, and really give it a better try this time. I'm going to put these away and get some diorite. And I'm going to fly. Let's see. This one. This one, this one, OK. 
Hey, that's scary. I am not playing Breath of the Wild on Master Mode in, until I beat it normally. Dennis, thank you. Thank you very much. He's just showing off because he's, he's amazing at that game. Not everyone's a pro gamer like you. to do before I seal these all up I, just, I have to set a target oh these are just chests I did it again damn it gotta convert these as well your pizza's out for delivery nice did I just lose Oh my gosh. I'm about to quit playing this too. <laughs> oh wait, no, I didn't lose a chest. Never mind. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was looking away. <laughs> Put your progress in chat. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. So I need 48 diamonds. Oh, crap. Your 10-year-old cousin has 500 hours on Breath of the Wild? Holy shit. That's actually insane. Cat's doing gymnastics in the house. Oh no, she's going to the bathroom. Never mind. You can send a picture. <laughs> yeah, please do. I believe you. I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I don't believe you, but that's just a different level of dedication. You know. They should write an essay about the real world implications of Breath of the Wild or something. God, schoolwork? Aw, oh, man. He's good at Smash. <laughs> I wish I was good at any game. I think I think Minecraft is the game I would say I'm best at. And even then, it's like, you know, I don't do a lot of fighting. I just, I do a lot of building and machines and stuff. But that's the one game I know best. And I, I really need to start spreading out into other things, I think. I would like to be good at Smash, too. I am definitely not good at Smash. Yeah, WoW is a different type of game, too, for sure. It's a lot of... Uh... Actually, I've never played WoW, so I, I can't speak to it, really. But I know people know life it. Forty-eight, and I need obsidian. Forty-eight, I have sixty-four. Okay. 
problem with this is I don't think I'm going to have enough mana to convert 48 diamonds. If you don't have the same amount of time as other people, oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have enough. Yeah, and Wild Classic just came out too, right? Well, not just. I think it was last year sometime. But again, we're boycotting Blizzard, right? So, fuck them. All right, there's my 12. Now I needed a diamond. It was really a couple years ago. Yeah, I mean, you do bad things, you're gonna, you should expect to have people boycott you, honestly, right? Bad things is not, not even a good way to put it. They, they have a horribly shitty work environment, especially for females. Kitty, kitty. Now I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning up. Kitty, what are you doing? She's running around like a mad cat. We live in a world that's led by men, and as much as companies want to show us otherwise, most of the time it's not like that. Yeah, I mean, of course not all men, and, and that's not the, not the point of what I'm about to say, but um, I think a big part of it is your culture, and as a company, you can decide to take your culture in any direction you want until it gets to a point where it's so embedded that it is your culture, and there's nothing you can do about it. So I think it's it's incumbent on these companies, any any company, right, to decide who they want to be. And when you get to the point of HR protecting the company and not doing anything for the employees, it's too late, you know. So I think there's a lot of space for good the good guys to do the right thing, you know or the, the good people, it's not necessarily guys. And I, I would hope that stories like the Blizzard story certainly don't happen as frequently in the future. It's really sad. There's actually a movement of companies called B, B Corps. Uh, there's S Corps and C Corps, and there's a movement called B Corps, and it's basically corporations that pledge to do the right thing. And I know that sounds weird, and you would think like, oh, that's uh, that should be obvious, but it's, it's certainly far from obvious. Um, they're usually small to medium-sized businesses, and it, I think it's actually really exciting um, because it gives people a chance to prove themselves in leadership. So. That's that that's something that's really cool. Kitty kitty. I think she's seen ghosts back there. Oops. Meow. You heard that? That's a whole nother setup. Done. Oh, there's a spot I need to light up. You would think 
like these these energy collectors have a lot of glowstone in them. You would think they emit light, but they don't. So you have to light up around them. So that that used up quite a lot of uh, EMC. I, I built two very expensive things <laughs> so far this stream. Uh, so that's always nice. You noticed, yeah. It's it's. I think it's strange. Like, why would they not emit light? Because glowstone blocks emit light, and they look like that. Do you play vanilla, Amy? Do you play Minecraft at all? I don't know if we talked about it. Alright, let's put these away. You don't play it currently? Okay. Well, this is certainly a cool mod pack. I don't know if you like Skyblocks at all, but uh, I'm going to brag for a second here. I haven't died once in this whole mod pack. You can see my deaths at the top there. <laughs> um, I've just gotten really good at not falling off edges in Skyblocks. So probably the first time I played Sky Factory, I died a lot uh, falling off the edge. Also, in this one, if you fall off the edge, you get this, this has um, Forgiving Void. So you, you fall back to the top of the world and start falling again. And then, of course, you get flying rings and stuff. Yeah, I, lo I love Skyblocks. They're, they're really my favorite. Like, I'd rather play modded than vanilla, and I'd rather play a Skyblock than any other, like, a regular world. So that's definitely my niche. Uh, I think that's going to do it for me. Thank you both for stopping in and anyone else who's watching this on YouTube. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. 7 p.m. Eastern, and I will talk to you later. Have a good night. You too. Thanks.